Hey there, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to save your images so that you don't have to worry about sizing issues, especially from when, especially when you're using Silhouette or any other type of software. This is going to be your go-to so you, did, you can print the correct size or any size in Virtual Support Manager. Let's get started. I'm going to be using Silhouette Studio and Virtual Store Print Manager. I'm going to show you some of the problems that come up when you're trying to print directly from Silhouette to Virtual Store Print Manager. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a random image. Uh, I'm not sure what yet. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're in the month of August. September, I don't know, let's just pick, um, it's not what I want it. Let's say, this is for tutorial purposes only. Let's do this. I think this might be a good one. Let me use this knife tool and I'm going to hold the shift button so that my line stays straight. I'm going to escape, click on this dough and delete it. I'm sorry, that buck and delete it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and trace the uh, trace this image. I'm going to come up here to the right panel and open the trace panel. Select the trace area and literally highlight. And what I want to do is I want to remove that white background the exit and I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, it has a white background. So select trace area. I like to go out as much as possible just to make sure I catch everything. Okay, that looks pretty good just the way it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and just trace it. And I'm going to delete that just to show you for the sake of the screen so you can see it better. Um, I guess that's a good color to start off with. So, I'm going to try to make this video as quick, as quick, as simple and quick as possible. Uh, let's see. I don't have anything planned, so I'm going to come up here and just pick a random font. Uh, sorry about the dog barking. Oh my goodness. Um... one in here that I really like. Let's see if I can find it. Let's do this one here. You see this right here really quick? You can remove all the insides if you just right click and release the compound path. Release. Sorry, make it a compound path. Sorry, right, it was released. I'm not sure why I had to do it a few times, but anyway, you can um, delete. I'm just going to group that together, shrink it, I'm going to color it in the same color blue. Here you right click and make it a compound path and you just get rid of the inside of that. So I'm going to try to make this quick. So sometimes you'll come across um issues when you do 11 by 17. I'm gonna show you what I mean here. 11 by 17. Okay, let's say I wanted to print that directly from silhouette. Okay, so I come up here, go to file. I don't even know what I'm doing, sorry, go to print. Virtual so Print Manager. I'm gonna show you what, what problems uh, come up when you're when you want to do this, and how to fix it, or how I, how I how I deal with it. Let's 
I'm waiting for it. I'm not sure why it's slow, but it's generating. Normally it pops up. It's not, so I'm just going to click on this. Okay, see how it's way off? That's not even right. And it's already at, it says it's 8 and a half by 11. So even if I come up here, well, one thing, you see how I have it set on these Caesars assembly? I need to turn that off. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to right click that. Go to options. I'm going to go to addition and I'm going to turn my sawgrass back on. And I do have a video on how to set this up. So since I had to change it, I'm going to have to get back out completely. So print, virtual, so print manager. I remember it's 11 by 17. Okay, we're gonna wait for the for this to come up. Okay, here we go. So, so see how it even even though it says eight and a half by eleven, if you come up here to layout, you click on VPN performance layout. If this is highlighted, which is the standard preserved layout from Designer. You don't have an option to change, but if you click on VPN performance layout. Here you can adjust the, the paper size. So since I have 11 by 17, which is tabloid, I'm going to click on that. And you see how it still does not look right. Even if you use the spacing, I mean, nothing, it doesn't work. It still looks like it's just the head shot or the head portion of it. So what I do rather than try to mess around with all these, Cancel. What I do is, since there is no white in sublimation, I try to get the background to be as close as possible to the image as possible. Does that make sense? I try to make my image have a white background as close to the image as possible. So what I'm going to do here as far as the width, Ten and a half. Ten. Nine. That's good enough for me. The reason I do that is because if I have, let's say I'm doing a mug and I have to print, let's say, 20 mugs or whatever, I can fit depending on you can, let's just say you can fit a whole bunch of these on one mug paper or any you can, a whole, you can gang gang uh, gang print, so that's why I would prefer to have as as little as possible on the, of the white on the image because because I'm about to save it. So now what I do is I come up here to file, save as, save to hard drive. I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I'm gonna come down here to where it says save. As type, I'm going to click on PNG and I'm going to name it. I'm just going to put um, Buck Gina and save it. And then here, I just always just whatever comes up, that's what I save it as. That's how you, that's the, that's my preferred method. That's the way I've been doing it um, for a while now. That's my, that's my, that's how I save my images so that I can't print on into when I log on to Sawgrass. That way you can print any size you want of this image. Mug, paper, uh, 8.5 by 11, 8.5 by 14, 11 by 17, 13 by 19, whatever size you can print. It's already saved um, as a PNG file so you can print that way. So I hope that makes sense. I know someone was requesting this video. I hope that makes sense. If not, um, call me, email me, text me, whatever uh, you need help with, just let me know. I hope this video was helpful. Until next time.